Hello, this is one Apple Maker, and I'm going to make a re update video of the um, last video basic tutorial that I made on finding CPU speed and name because apparently it was not clear, clear, clear enough, and people were having trouble finding it. So I'm gonna try it again, and hopefully this one's better. This uh, and disregard the stupid noise in the background. This stupid, annoying creature. Okay, video basic 2005, 2008, 2010. Doesn't matter which one you have because they will all read the same value, which I'm gonna do this later. So, point project. And make sure it was location, and you want to name it whatever you want to name it. I'm gonna name it CPU test. <coughs> test. And form one will open. You will need to have uh, four labels. One, two, three, four. Okay. Do 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 do. do they're all lined up. Label two. And then I'm gonna just move it down back here. Label two, label four, and I'm gonna put them. <coughs> label three. So. I'm going to name level 1 whatever you want to name it. I'm going to name it. <coughs> name label 2 is going to be uh, speed or frequency, however you want to see it. Now, this time I'm not, I'm not going to write the code directly to the phone loader. I'm going to transfer it a button which I'll use. And uh, let me use the phone. Okay, give me a sec. Okay, and then you're going to uh, call the button whatever you want to call it. I'm just going to call it CHECK check. And uh, I'm going to make the uh, accept button on phone one as button one. And uh, let's click the check button to do the code window. Okay, we're going to do some dim value to the counting as a strain. So, because, well, let's face it, let's make it easier. Dim name as a strain. And then speed as strain. Okay. Let's name. We are going to. Okay, so this one we're going to access the registry. Like the last video. Name equals. M uh. My computer that. Registry that. The value. And open parentheses, open quote. Uh. Now type this carefully. H K E Y underscore low. Underscore machine backslash hardware backslash description backslash system backslash central processor backslash zero. The zero meaning meaning that we're monitoring the first physical and logical core. You can either use one, two, three, or four, or up, all the way up to seven. If there's a course. However, however you want to monitor your <coughs> course. And close quote, comma, open quote, processor name string. We are reading the processor name string value from within the registry. And that's that is how we get a name. And then we're gonna do comma nothing. And label through that text is, is name. And uh, uh, now let's do speed. Speed. Now this basically is the is the same thing as name, the same path except we're, gonna, we're not going to read, read faster name speed. We want to read the, the difficulty. Uh, give me a sec. Oh, I get this set up. So let's copy the call from name and I'm going to paste it. And I'm going to change the name string to a uh, shift. Circle, which is uh, to the left of the one on the number set the keyboard. I mean, not the uh, key number pad above the uh, alphabetical key, alphabetical keys. So M H Z stands for megahertz, and we are going to measure in megahertz. And then just make sure it megahertz. We're going to type and sign after uh, n nothing, and then we're going to type open quote space megahertz. You can leave it. Without space, it's up to you. And I just like to do that way. Okay, text. I mean text. Label. Do 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 do. Label for that text is speed. And let's make the title better. So me the text, which is the title, equals um name and uh, name and, and symbol sign and open quote. You can give you uh, application whatever title you want. I'm just gonna call. CPU X for heaven's sake. Okay, that be it. Now we shall test this. Just press F5. Drag the down. Hopefully, not get any Okay, there you go. 
as you can see, uh, let me, let me try that thing. There you go. Our name is Intel Pentium 4 CPU 3 gigahertz. And the CPU speed is 3000 megahertz. You can convert that to 3.00 gigahertz if you do the format function. Now, here is the, um, the, basically the keychain version I just used. So I'm gonna reg it. And then I'm gonna go to AT local machine hardware. Sys, I mean, different system central processor. And there's zero one because I have a Pentium 4 that has cyber threading. So basically, what this we did we read processor name stream, which is as you can see here, it's obvious, and then we read the MHZ frequency, which as right now is a slender value because it's actually measuring the current frequency, and uh, the the D warp value is not corresponding to the um, so it's clock now. Right. Hopefully this helps, and if you cannot access the uh, registry or get it to working, maybe maybe it's because your registry is prohibited based on your account settings. So make sure you are using a manager account, and that registry is. Allow to be accessed and if you have any questions, please comment below and subscribe to my video if you like it and you want more. And that'll be all. Thank you for watching, and I will talk to you later. Bye!